All right, folks, let's talk about a quick little game here. I'm going to show you that I happen to be psychic. Indeed, we're going to create a psychic guessing game. Now, I've already created the project. You can go ahead and create it, date it, name it all you want. But what this is going to do is it's going to pick a random number, 0 to 9, and I'm going to guess whether that's correct or not. So, without further ado, now, the computer is going to pick its number. It's going to tell me to guess between 0 and 9. So I've got a 1 in 10 chance to get it right. 10%. And I will guess, and it'll tell me if I got it right or not. That's the basic gist of it. So, so int rand equals int math.random times 10 gives us a nice you know, 0 to 9. If I wanted it to be bigger, let's say times 100, that would give us 0 to 99. And it would also give us a 1% chance to guess it correctly on average little bit bigger field than what I want. Now once we get to loops that might not be so bad because I'd have multiple guesses at it. But for now uh, we'll see how this works. So guess the magic number. Int guess equals input dot next int. And of course I haven't set up the scanner yet so I've, I've left that aligned. So scanner input equals new scanner system dot in. There we go. So I imported and should have done that immediately. Or you could do this and actually click a button and it would do that automatically. But I've got my random number. I've got my guess. User's guess. Now I just need to know did I guess it right or not? Now if I just want to know straight up is it right or wrong I can say if guess is equal to rand. You are right. Wow. Psychic. Power. Else, you are wrong. Simple, straightforward, right? I know if I'm right, I know if I'm wrong. Now I don't know how wrong I am, so maybe I should add in it was eh, come back, plus rand. So that way I know how badly off I am. Let's find out how psychic I am. Guess the random, random number. I'm going to say 7. That's the first thing that popped in my head. It was 0. Okay, that's fine. You know, that's just 7 more higher. I, you know, psychic power takes a little bit of time to attune, so... Uh, hit it again. Eight. Four. Okay, see, I was closer that time. I wasn't seven off, I was four off. So we're getting a little more tuned. Okay, I got you. Uh, two. Five. Look at that, I was three. That's three closer. So well, let's hit it again. Uh, six. It was eight. Look at that. I was two off this time. See, I'm progressively getting closer from 7 to, you know, 5 and 4 and 3. Uh, now it's 2. Here we go. This is going to be it. I can feel it. 1. Still 2 off. That's okay. I should just take whatever number I, I'm thinking of and think 2 higher. Uh, 4. Well, I thought two, and I thought two higher, but it was actually lower. So, see, that would have been correct if I just went in the right direction. Uh, so, so you can see that I'm actually a little bit psychic there. Uh, let's go with uh, seven. It was one. Okay, now, now uh, I, don't, I don't know. I, I kind of <coughs> coughed a little bit there. Surely, eventually, even statistically, I'm going to guess it right at some point, right? Now here's the problem, and the reason why you know you think there would be a 10% chance, right, to get this right. 
then why am I not guessing it at least partially right at least 10% of the time? Boom. Well, here's the reason. Uh, well, it's 10% every time. And this is this is one of the things about probability people get mistaken. Uh, this is particularly funny with like uh, lotteries and stuff like that. Uh, you know, you have like a one in a million chance, you know, maybe to win the lottery, right? So people will buy three or four tickets and they're like, that gives me four times the chance to win. No, that gives you, you know, you, you had one in a million, now you have four, in a, four out of a million. That did not substantially raise your chances of winning. Like the, the amount percentage wise that you went up is almost like non-existent, just adding a couple more tickets. And the problem with this is I'm hitting a moving number. It's 10% every single time. Now, if I were to just come in here and just spam in five, there's one, two, three, four, that likes the zeros, five, let's see here, six, seven, eight, nine. It's still going to be random, but 10. If I do this enough times, eventually I will get it right. There we go. Took like 12 times instead of 10 or something like that, but, uh, but it's never exactly 10. And this is another thing like with item drops in video games and stuff like that, you know, maybe it has like a 1% chance to drop. That does not necessarily mean you kill the thing a hundred times, you will definitely get it. It just means that, you know, if that's a true percentage, that every time you fight it, there's a 1% chance, which means you might fight it 300 times before you see it. You might fight it five times and get it twice. Uh, that's all. RNG, uh, which sucks a lot. Now, if I wanted to make this a little bit better, I might want to say if I did it higher or lower, uh, that's really for another project. Uh, when we get to loops and stuff, we can see this project, uh, we, can, we can add to it a little bit. Uh, for example, uh, if I added a loop to this, I could make it so, you know, I had multiple guesses at the answer. Uh, it would choose my random number and I would loop and basically keep going until I guessed it right. Now of course 10 numbers is pretty pitiful for something that allows me to keep guessing. I would probably want that to be like a hundred or a thousand numbers. Uh, but would you believe me if I said if it was a hundred numbers you know there's a 1% chance of me guessing it I could do it within seven guesses. Every time within seven guesses. Assuming I code one little extra thing, which is it tells me one little detail, whether I'm too high or too low. If I know that simple little fact, I can do it within seven guesses. And if there's a thousand numbers, I can do it within, I think it's like nine or 10 guesses or something like that. So even though there's a one and a thousandth chance of guessing it correctly, using some nice little mathematical formulas, you can, that's really simple you can cut it basically down to six or seven guesses if you're lucky even less all right well that is the psychic guessing game if you want to add a little bit more to it you know, feel free uh, maybe there's maybe you can want to add a second random number so you get to guess two uh, or maybe it gives you another shot to do something uh, maybe the computer tries to guess your number. I mean, there's a whole bunch of different things you could add in, and really programming is all about playing with the program. You learn more when you start adding stuff and trying to add and subtract and, you know, see what you can do with it than just following along. Uh, you always learn more when you try to see if you can make something yourself. All right, well, if you have any problems, questions, let me know. That is the program.